In this tutorial, I will show you how we can use contact form 7 and how we can style our contact form 7 in DV Builder. Contact form 7 is the most popular WordPress form plugin and this form has tons of features, tons of flexibility. So many people like to use this contact form 7 and this is completely free. But there is only one difficulty, there is no style customization options. And we can solve this using a simple free plugin and DV theme. So without wasting too much time, now let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to install our contact form 7 plugin. So I'm going to plugin and add new plugin. I'm typing here contact form 7 and going to install it then activate it and next going again add new plugin and typing contact form 7 styler yes so here is the plugin contact form 7 styler for DV now I'm going to install it and activate it then here is the options allow continue or skip it I'm going to skip it. Okay, so here is general tab. Now here is a grid builder, contact form 7 grid builder. I'm just checking it and save all changes. Now I'm going to contact. Okay, now I'm taking a new form, add new form. And here I'm typing custom form. And here we are removing it and going to start it from scratch so here we can find some grid structure these all are coming from our DV form styler and here is row here is column we can take different kind of column inside row so first I'm taking a row and inside a row I'm taking a column so here is one column, half column, half mean if we want to take two columns inside a row, that case we can take half column. If we want to take three columns, that case we can take this one third column. And in the similar way, you can take others column. So now first I'm taking half column and inside this we are taking a field. We are taking a text field and we are setting it as name and making this text as placeholder inside insert and next here we are taking another half column and here we can take email required and value will be email and making it as placeholder insert tag and similar way we are taking our second row and inside this we are taking a half column and here we can take a phone number so i'm taking tail and required here i'm typing phone and making this as placeholder insert tag and similar way another half column and here we can add text field these are coming the same so i am just changing it to six and here will be skype so here you can take any field as you need here i am just taking some field by random and lastly we are taking another row and this time we can take a single column and inside this we can take a text area and here value will be messes and making it as placeholder insert tag okay and finally we are taking another row and single column and here we are taking a button submit button and typing the label send insert okay now i'm saving it and here is some mail configuration 
if you are already familiar with contact form 7 you know that how to do it so here is the text this is for name we can place it instead of name sorry this is our name this is email we can put it our email So this is uh, actually the body structure. This will forward it to our mail address. You can organize it as you want. This is tail. We can put it as our phone. And then here is Skype. And finally this is message. Here is our message and subject we can put here any subject as we did not take any field as subject okay all are set now i'm going to save it so now we need to just copy this short code for contact form 7 i'm just going to copy it and we need to paste it into our page so i'm going here our contact page and going to visual builder and here we are taking a new module and typing form and this is the contact form 7 and here is the default form of dv so this time we are taking this module and from here we need to select our form this is our form and here we can customize it with our styling options so here is much more option to customize it so here is show form header we can enable form header here is header title contact us here is header text and here is icon we can use any icon i'm just skipping it we can also even add any image on header area and here is background we can set background but we can get all styling options in design tab so i'm showing you from here here is common style here is form background you can set form background to any black color and here is form padding we can set form padding top bottom and here is left right okay and here is full it button this is a cool options for form buttons we need to face much difficulties to fix this form alignment so we can make it this full width or we can make the button alignment to left right or center I'm making it to full width and increasing the padding to 50 pixel and top and right same and next here is form field here is form header I'm adding some padding bottom or 30 pixel and we can style our text or title text we can make our title text to more larger and we can also change our text color and we can customize our form field from here here is form text form field here is fields so first i'm just changing this field background color to a dark color here is form text we can make it to white and next here is font placeholder text size yes it's cool and then button here is button style we can use any custom style for our button we can make this button background color to a dark color and this border color to white and we can add some padding to this button 
10 pixel top and bottom and making this text to uppercase and adding some letter spacing yeah it's good okay so here is much more options to style our form you can customize it as you need as you like i am just trying to show you how you can do this now i am just saving it and exit visual builder okay so i hope you understand the basic concept how you can do this so if this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find my more upcoming tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial